Welcome to our YouTube channel, The Wisdom Academy. Greetings esteemed viewers, and welcome to the fifth edition of Lecture 8. As previously mentioned, this lecture series was projected to encompass five to six installments, with the possibility of extension beyond that scope. While the preceding four editions conveyed similar content, this fifth edition presents a unique perspective. Each rendition of Chapter 8 serves as an introduction to Lecture 9, where we will explore the intricacies of reality that are often obscured. This version is crafted with a considerable degree of intricacy, integrating SAT vocabulary terms of moderate complexity, along with a compilation of some of the least encountered words provided at the conclusion of the discussion. The process of indoctrination places constraints on our emotional understanding, limiting our capacity to identify the true origins of our emotional experiences. This limitation often leads to difficulties in distinguishing between genuine emotional triggers and learned responses, like feelings of inferiority. Under the framework of cognitive entrapment, Individuals are trained to automatically respond to various stimuli, neglecting the importance of self-reflection. Consequently, the encouragement of introspective activities is neither endorsed nor prioritized. It's not uncommon to witness egocentric behavior stemming from societal conditioning, where individuals measure success based on external standards such as material possessions or social standing. However, genuine empathy necessitates understanding and validation of others' experiences, free from dismissal influenced by societal norms. Overcoming ingrained beliefs and societal constraints requires introspection and humility, fostering genuine empathy and self-awareness. Our educational sessions are crafted to guide individuals in reconnecting with their inner selves, facilitating detachment from conditioned emotions and fostering personal growth. Remember to show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel for more enlightening content. Don't forget to click the notification bell to stay informed about our latest videos. Unraveling Societal Predispositions – A Path to Inner Transformation Lecture 8 Version 5 with SAT or Scholastic Assessment Test Vocabulary Words, March 18th of 2024. Welcome esteemed viewers to the fifth installment of Lecture 8. As mentioned previously, this lecture series was anticipated to consist of five to six versions, though it may extend beyond that. While the previous four versions shared analogous content, this fifth version offers a distinct perspective. Each iteration of Chapter 8 serves as a prelude to Lecture 9, where we will delve into the more obscure aspects of reality. This version is composed with a substantial level of complexity, incorporating SAT vocabulary terms of moderate difficulty, with a compendium of some of the most infrequently encountered words provided at the conclusion of the discourse. Indoctrination imposes constraints on our emotional cognition, inhibiting our ability to discern the true sources of our emotional experiences. This constraint often leads to difficulty in distinguishing between genuine emotional triggers and conditioned responses, such as feelings of degradation. Within the doctrine of cognitive bondage, individuals are conditioned to automatically respond to various stimuli, neglecting the importance of introspection. Consequently, investing in introspective practices is neither advocated nor prioritized. It's not uncommon to witness egotistical behavior rooted in societal indoctrination, where individuals measure success by external standards such as wealth or status. However, true empathy necessitates understanding and validation of others' experiences without dismissing them based on societal norms. Overcoming indoctrinated beliefs and societal constraints requires introspection and humility, fostering genuine empathy and self-awareness. Our lectures aim to guide individuals towards connecting with their higher selves, enabling detachment from indoctrinated emotions and facilitating inner transformation. 
The constraints enforced by indoctrination wield considerable influence over our capacity to navigate the intricate terrain of emotional cognition. These limitations manifest as formidable barriers that hinder our ability to discern between authentic emotional stimuli and preconceived, indoctrinated responses. As a consequence, individuals may find themselves grappling with the challenge of distinguishing genuine emotional triggers from those that have been ingrained through indoctrinated beliefs. For instance, feelings of degradation, whether in personal or societal contexts, may evoke emotional responses that are difficult to attribute solely to individual experiences, as they may also be influenced by the pervasive impact of indoctrination. Moreover, the pervasive nature of indoctrination exacerbates the complexity of this dilemma by blurring the lines between genuine emotional experiences and conditioned responses. As individuals navigate through various life situations, they may encounter emotional stimuli that trigger reactions shaped by deeply ingrained beliefs and ideologies. Consequently, the process of introspection and self-awareness becomes clouded, making it challenging to decipher the true origins of one's emotional responses. This ambiguity further underscores the profound impact of indoctrination on our emotional landscape, highlighting the need for critical reflection and examination to unravel the intricate interplay between personal experiences and external influences. Within the confines of cognitive bondage, individuals undergo systematic conditioning that compels them to respond instinctively to a diverse range of stimuli encountered in their daily lives. This conditioning permeates various aspects of their existence, shaping their reactions across different situations, interactions with people, and encounters with objects. As a result, the cultivation of introspective education, which fosters deep self-reflection and critical examination of one's beliefs and actions, is often overlooked or dismissed as non-essential. Instead, individuals become entrenched in the rigid adherence to indoctrinated ideologies and mandates, perpetuating a cycle of conformity that stifles independent thought and personal growth. The absence of emphasis on introspective education within the framework of cognitive bondage not only inhibits individual autonomy, but also hampers the development of nuanced understanding and self-awareness. By prioritizing conformity over introspection, individuals are deprived of the opportunity to question the validity of indoctrinated beliefs and to explore alternative perspectives. Consequently, their cognitive faculties remain constrained within the confines of preconceived notions and societal norms, impeding the capacity for intellectual growth and emotional maturation. In this way, the promotion of introspective education emerges as a critical antidote to the pervasive influence of cognitive bondage, offering a pathway towards liberation from the shackles of indoctrination and the cultivation of genuine self-awareness. The pervasive influence of indoctrination imposes significant constraints on our capacity for independent thought and introspection, perpetuating a cycle of cognitive bondage that impedes genuine self-awareness and critical reflection. Under the pervasive sway of indoctrination, individuals are often conditioned to conform rigidly to prescribed beliefs and directives, leaving little room for independent inquiry or divergent viewpoints. This stifling of independent thought not only undermines individual autonomy, but also inhibits the cultivation of a nuanced understanding of oneself and the world. As a consequence of this cognitive bondage, individuals grapple with the challenge of differentiating between authentic emotional experiences and those that are influenced by external factors, such as societal norms or indoctrinated beliefs. This blurring of emotional boundaries reinforces our subservience to indoctrinated directives, as our responses to emotional stimuli are shaped by deeply ingrained ideologies rather than genuine introspection or personal experience. Thus, the pervasive influence of indoctrination not only limits our capacity for independent thought, but also complicates our ability to navigate the complexities of our emotional landscape perpetuating a cycle of conformity and reinforcing the dominance of indoctrinated ideologies. 
Recognizing the pervasive nature of indoctrination is the first step towards understanding its profound impact on our beliefs, perceptions, and behaviors. Indoctrination operates insidiously, infiltrating various aspects of our lives and shaping our thoughts and actions in subtle yet profound ways. By acknowledging its pervasive influence, we become better equipped to identify the barriers it erects against critical thinking and self-reflection, which are essential components of intellectual and emotional growth. Addressing these constraints is paramount in fostering genuine emotional awareness and facilitating personal growth. Critical thinking allows us to question the validity of indoctrinated beliefs and ideologies, empowering us to challenge established norms and societal expectations. Through introspection, we can examine the origins of our beliefs and behaviors, discerning between those that are authentically aligned with our values and those that have been imposed upon us by external influences. By dismantling the barriers to critical thinking and self-reflection imposed by indoctrination, we create space for personal development and the cultivation of genuine emotional intelligence. Moreover, addressing the pervasive influence of indoctrination not only benefits individuals on a personal level, but also contributes to the advancement of society as a whole. By fostering a culture that values critical thinking and self-reflection, we create an environment conducive to innovation, progress, and social change. By breaking free from the constraints of indoctrination, individuals can contribute to the creation of a more inclusive, empathetic, an intellectually vibrant community where diverse perspectives are respected and individual autonomy is celebrated. In contemporary society, the allure of societal success often intertwines with displays of egotistical behavior and chauvinism, where individuals boast about their attainment of the summit of success while belittling others who have not met the same standards. This fascination with material wealth, status symbols, and external validations of achievement is deeply ingrained in indoctrinated principles, promoting the pursuit of markers such as a beautiful spouse, luxurious possessions, lucrative careers, and academic credentials. However, amidst the celebration of personal triumphs, it is essential to maintain composure and empathy towards those who may not have reached similar pinnacles of success. This nuanced approach acknowledges the perseverance required to overcome obstacles and encourages individuals to cultivate a sense of humility and compassion in their interactions with others. Moreover, it underscores the importance of refraining from uncompromising judgments and embracing the idea of complementary participation, recognizing the collective contributions that often underpin individual achievements. In contemporary society, it's a common occurrence for individuals to be entranced by the spectacle of egotistical behavior, particularly when it manifests as chauvinism aimed at diminishing others while elevating oneself. This phenomenon often arises from a deep-seated adherence to societal norms and values regarding success and achievement. The indoctrination of such principles instills a rigid framework within individuals, compelling them to measure their worth and accomplishments against predetermined benchmarks. One notable manifestation of this egotistical behavior is the pursuit of what is metaphorically termed the summit, the pinnacle of success in various domains of life. This summit is defined by societal standards that prioritize material wealth, status symbols, and external validations of success. Individuals driven by egotism and chauvinism often boast about their attainment of this summit, whether through acquiring a beautiful spouse, flaunting luxurious possessions like cars and mansions, or boasting about prestigious educational credentials and lucrative careers. However, the pursuit of the summit is not merely about personal achievement. It often involves the denigration of those who have not reached similar heights. This belittling behavior, fueled by egotism and chauvinism, serves to reinforce the individual's sense of superiority and entitlement. By comparing themselves favorably to others who may not meet the same societal standards of success, these individuals seek validation and affirmation of their own worth and accomplishments. 
Ultimately, the allure of egotistical behavior and chauvinism lies in its ability to validate one's adherence to indoctrinated principles of success. By conforming to societal expectations and flaunting their achievements in accordance with these principles, individuals bolster their sense of self-worth and status. However, this pursuit often comes at the expense of empathy and compassion for those who may not fit neatly into the mold of societal success, perpetuating a cycle of ego-driven behavior and reinforcing systemic inequalities. In navigating the arduous journey towards achievements such as securing a prestigious career, obtaining advanced educational qualifications, or establishing fulfilling personal relationships, Individuals often encounter formidable obstacles that demand unwavering determination and resilience. These trials, ranging from professional setbacks to personal hardships, epitomize the lethargic situations that must be overcome to ascend to the pinnacle of success. Despite the daunting nature of these challenges, individuals are urged to persevere with steadfast resolve, demonstrating resilience and fortitude in their pursuit of excellence. However, amidst the celebration of personal triumphs and the acknowledgement of hard-won successes, it is imperative to extend empathy and understanding towards those whose paths may diverge from the conventional markers of achievement. Not everyone traverses a trajectory characterized by upward mobility and conspicuous success. Numerous individuals face systemic barriers, socioeconomic constraints, and personal setbacks that impede their progress. Therefore, it is incumbent upon those who have ascended to the pinnacle of achievement to remain serene and cohesive in their interactions with others, recognizing and respecting the diverse journeys and circumstances that shape each individual's experience. By fostering a culture of inclusivity and compassion, individuals can create a supportive environment where mutual respect and solidarity prevail. Transcending the confines of egotism and chauvinism to cultivate a more equitable and empathetic society. Maintaining impartiality entails exercising discernment in communication by refraining from censoring sentimental statements solely based on personal biases or judgments. Instead of dismissing individuals whom one perceives as mentally embryonic or intellectually inferior, it is crucial to approach interactions with an open mind and a willingness to engage in constructive dialogue. This approach fosters a culture of inclusivity and respect, where differing viewpoints are acknowledged and valued, regardless of perceived differences in intellectual maturity or achievement. Furthermore, acknowledging personal achievements should not entail a sense of impermeable self-sufficiency, but rather an appreciation for the contributions and support received along the journey to success. No accomplishment is solely the result of individual effort. It is often the culmination of collective collaboration, mentorship, and communal support. Recognizing the interconnectedness of achievements underscores the importance of humility and gratitude, as well as the obligation to uplift and empower others who may be striving towards similar goals. By reframing perceptions of achievement as collaborative endeavors rather than solitary conquests, individuals can cultivate a more compassionate and empathetic approach to interpersonal interactions. Embracing the notion of complementary participation emphasizes the interconnectedness of human experiences and the intrinsic value of mutual support and solidarity. In doing so, individuals can transcend the confines of egotism and cultivate a culture of empathy, cooperation, and shared success. Empathy goes beyond simply mirroring the emotions of others, such as feeling their melancholy. It's about understanding and acknowledging their feelings without necessarily experiencing them ourselves. Approaching someone's concerns with empathy means not dismissing them as insignificant by instructing them to banish their emotions as if they were easily disposable. It's recognizing the complexity of human emotions and the significance of addressing them with care and understanding. Moreover, when we consider cognitive subjugation, we understand why it's unrealistic to expect immediate changes in someone's behavior just by telling them to do so. Cognitive patterns and beliefs deeply ingrained within individuals shape their behavior over time, making it a gradual process to alter them. 
Most behavioral models acknowledge this reality, recognizing that significant changes require sustained effort and patience, often taking years to fully manifest. In essence, fostering empathy involves acknowledging the intricacies of human emotions and behavior and understanding that transformation doesn't happen overnight. It requires patience, compassion, and a recognition of the complexities involved in navigating our emotional landscapes. It's unfortunately common for people to view elderly individuals in need as outdated relics, dismissing their relevance to modern society without truly understanding their struggles. This perception of elders as anachronisms fails to recognize the depth of their experiences, including any psychological disorders they may have quietly battled throughout their lives. However, practicing modesty enables individuals to approach interactions with sensitivity and understanding, even when engaging with those society may deem as less fortunate, like the homeless. By qualifying their words and actions with humility, individuals avoid falling into the trap of dismissing others' experiences as negligible or unworthy of consideration. This approach not only fosters empathy and compassion, but also prevents ignorance from leading to callous or flippant behavior towards others. It reminds us that everyone deserves to be treated with dignity and respect, regardless of their circumstances or perceived social status. The constant repetition of mundane tasks and activities serves to mold individuals, making them pliable within the confines of societal norms and expectations. This malleability leads to a form of mental enslavement where individuals become unquestioningly loyal to the doctrines imposed upon them. Despite reaching the supposed pinnacle of success as dictated by societal indoctrination, one may appear outwardly jovial and amiable to others. However, without a deep understanding of oneself, without one's knowledge of self crystallized within the mind, these outward displays of success and amiability offer little solace in maintaining inner peace or comprehending the complexities of emotional fluctuations. In essence, the routine and banality of daily life serve to shape individuals' perceptions and behaviors, trapping them in a cycle of conformity and compliance. Even as they reach what society deems as the highest point of achievement, true fulfillment and clarity remain elusive without a deep understanding of one's inner self. At the core of our lectures lies a fundamental concept, the development of a deep connection with our higher selves. This aspect of our dualistic nature grants us the ability to observe our thoughts and emotions impartially, free from their influence. It's a recognition that many of our decisions and emotional responses are shaped by societal indoctrination, which often leads to improper emotional cultivation and susceptibility to mundane routines. However, by aligning with our higher selves, we can transcend these limitations. The higher self serves as a beacon of clarity amidst the chaos of everyday life, guiding us towards a deeper understanding of our true nature. Through this alignment, we learn to adopt the role of the observer, allowing our thoughts and emotions to flow without interference or judgment. Through consistent practice and emulation of this observer mindset, we gradually diminish the power of ingrained thoughts and emotions that have long dictated our behavior. By reclaiming control of our inner landscape, we become less susceptible to the influence of external circumstances finding freedom and clarity in the face of life's challenges. At times, a multitude of questions flood our minds, pondering why certain individuals seem to effortlessly embody the paragon of success in their careers, knowledge, relationships, and more. While others are easily disheartened at the mere beginning of any endeavor, we're left wondering about the origins of these predispositions. Do they stem from within us, or are they shaped by external influences? Are most of us somehow tarnished by societal norms and expectations? In light of these inquiries, we find ourselves grappling with how to eradicate our emotional deficiencies and transcend the limitations imposed upon us. Reviewing previous lectures serves as a beacon of insight, helping to clarify these existential quandaries and providing a foundation for further exploration. As we delve into the fundamentals in preparation for Lecture 9, we embark on a journey of self-discovery, 
seeking to unravel the mysteries of human potential and resilience. Indoctrination plays a significant role in leading us to misattribute our emotional experiences. Due to the conditioning we undergo, our access to the true nature of these emotions becomes limited, and we often misunderstand or misinterpret them. This reliance on predefined definitions to describe our emotional states further complicates the matter, as it restricts our ability to explore the nuances of our feelings. Moreover, the lack of emphasis on introspection in our educational systems exacerbates this problem. Without the practice of introspection, we struggle to discern the connection between external events and our internal emotional responses. As a result, we remain oblivious to the ways in which our emotions are influenced by the world around us, perpetuating a cycle of misunderstanding and misattribution. Due to the conditioning we undergo, our access to the true nature of our emotions becomes limited, and we often misunderstand or misinterpret them. This reliance on predefined definitions to describe our emotional states further complicates the matter, as it restricts our ability to explore the nuances of our feelings. Moreover, the lack of emphasis on introspection in our educational systems exacerbates this problem. Without the practice of introspection, we struggle to discern the connection between external events and our internal emotional responses. As a result, we remain oblivious to the ways in which our emotions are influenced by the world around us, perpetuating a cycle of misunderstanding and misattribution. When we diligently revisit past negative emotional experiences, we often find that the emotions originally felt during those moments resurface with remarkable fidelity. However, our minds have a tendency to embellish these memories over time, subtly altering them to diminish their initial impact. This process of embellishment is particularly pronounced when recalling emotions associated with regret or shame as we unconsciously seek to soften the intensity of these painful experiences. Despite the inherent variance among individuals, we are all subject to the pervasive influence of the archaic doctrine of cognitive subjugation. This outdated belief system shapes our perceptions and behaviors, molding us into malleable beings susceptible to similar emotional experiences. While the specifics of indoctrination may vary from person to person, the overarching principles of cognitive subjugation remain deeply ingrained within our societal fabric, exerting a significant influence on our thoughts, emotions, and actions. For those with the audacity to engage in introspection, the skill of dissecting the correlation between external experiences and our automatic emotional responses represents an unprecedented achievement. This practice empowers individuals to appropriately delegate the task of lucidly extrapolating from negative experiences. By doing so, they can harness these experiences in their meditative practices, leveraging them for the purpose of achieving inner transformation. This robust disposition not only enables individuals to navigate through the complexities of their inner worlds, but also provides them with the clarity needed to discern the illusory reality that has been ingrained in their consciousness. Through introspection and reflection, individuals can develop a profound understanding of themselves and the world around them, ultimately leading to personal growth and enlightenment. The carefully constructed facade of reality deceives us into believing that the world we inhabit is genuine and unaltered. This illusionary perception leads to the emergence of a stipend of interpretations of reality, each shaped by a continuous flow of events observed from various perspectives. To gain a deeper understanding of this intricate tapestry of perceptions, it is essential to retract information from previous lessons. By revisiting antecedent teachings, individuals can better grasp the material presented in future lessons, allowing them to discern the underlying truths obscured by the veils of illusion. In conclusion, the pervasive constraints imposed by indoctrination severely limit our capacity to navigate the complexities of emotional cognition, hindering our ability to differentiate between genuine emotional experiences and conditioned responses. Within the framework of cognitive bondage, individuals are systematically trained to automatically react to various stimuli, 
perpetuating a cycle of conformity that discourages introspection and critical self-reflection, thus advocating for an economical approach to investing in introspection is neither encouraged nor prioritized as individuals remain entrenched within the directives of their indoctrinated beliefs. Furthermore, societal adherence to indoctrinated principles often leads to the glorification of egotistical behavior and chauvinism, where success is measured solely by external standards such as wealth or status. However, true empathy requires understanding and validation of others' experiences without trivializing them based on societal norms. Overcoming indoctrinated beliefs in societal constraints demands humility and introspection fostering genuine empathy and self-awareness. Our lectures emphasize the importance of connecting with one's higher self to detach from indoctrinated emotions and undergo inner transformation, enabling individuals to navigate through societal illusions and attain true inner peace. In essence, achieving genuine empathy and self-awareness necessitates challenging indoctrinated beliefs, questioning societal norms, and embracing introspection as a means of unraveling the complexities of emotional cognition. By transcending the constraints imposed by indoctrination, individuals can cultivate a deeper understanding of themselves and others. Fostering empathy and compassion in navigating the intricacies of human interaction and societal expectations. SAT or Scholastic Assessment Test Vocabulary Words Vocabulary words list number one. One, differentiate. Part of speech, verb. Synonym, distinguish. Definition, recognize or ascertain what makes someone or something different. Sentence, it becomes irrefutable to lack the capacity to differentiate between the underlying catalyst of an unusual emotional experience. 2. Irrefutable. Part of speech, adjective. Synonym, undeniable. Definition, impossible to deny or disprove. Sentence, consequently, it becomes irrefutable that we may struggle to differentiate between the true catalyst of an unusual emotional experience, such as feeling degraded and our conditioned responses based solely on dictionary definitions. 3. Anomaly Part of speech, noun Synonym, abnormality Definition, something that deviates from what is standard, normal, or expected. Sentence once our consciousness has gone through the process of indoctrination for cognitive subjugation, we become oblivious of the anomaly in our modus operandi. 4. Laborious Part of speech, adjective Synonym, arduous Definition, requiring considerable effort and time Sentence Hence, advocating for an economical approach to investing in the practice of introspection is neither advocated nor laborious. 5. Catalyst Part of speech, noun Synonym, trigger Definition, a person or thing that precipitates an event Sentence, consequently it becomes undeniable that we may encounter challenges in differentiating between the genuine catalyst of an unusual emotional experience, like feeling degraded, and our pre-programmed responses solely determined by dictionary definitions. 6. Advocate Part of speech, verb Synonym, support Definition, publicly recommend or support Sentence, indoctrination imposes significant constraints on our ability to advocate for the rudimentary functioning of our emotional cognition. 7. Degrade Part of speech, verb Synonym, demean Definition, treat or regard someone with contempt or disrespect. Sentence, consequently 
it becomes undeniable that we may encounter challenges in differentiating between the genuine catalyst of an unusual emotional experience, like feeling degraded, and our pre-programmed responses solely determined by dictionary definitions. 8. Elaborate. Part of speech, adjective. Synonym, detailed. Definition, involving many carefully arranged parts or details, detailed and complicated in design and planning. Sentence, to elaborate further, through the doctrine of cognitive bondage individuals become conditioned to automatically respond to situations, people, and material objects. 9. Constraint. Part of speech, noun. Synonym, limitation. Definition, a limitation or restriction. Sentence, hence, the economical stand in investing in the education of introspection is not advocated nor laborious. 10. Economical. Part of speech, adjective. Synonym, thrifty. Definition, giving good value or service in relation to the amount of money, time, or effort spent. Sentence, hence, advocating for an economical approach to investing in the practice of introspection is neither advocated nor laborious. 11. Conflate. Part of speech, verb. Synonym, blend. Definition, combine, two or more texts, ideas, etc., into one. Sentence, in essence, the indoctrination-induced constraints limit our ability to discern the true sources of our emotional reactions, leading us to conflate genuine experiences with conditioned responses. 12. Oddity. Part of speech, noun. Synonym, peculiarity. Definition, a strange or peculiar person, thing, or trait. Sentence, it becomes irrefutable to be unable to differentiate between the underlying catalyst of an oddity within an emotional experience. 13. Directive. Part of speech, noun. Synonym, instruction. Definition, an official or authoritative instruction. Sentence, individuals are accustomed to function within the constraints of their doctrine's directives. Vocabulary words list number two. One, chauvinism. Part of speech, noun. Synonym, jingoism. Definition, excessive or prejudiced loyalty or support for one's own cause, group, or gender. Sentence, it's a familiar sight, being ensnared by the grandiose display of egotism and chauvinism, as individuals diminish others while flaunting their attainment of the summit. 2. Serene. Part of speech, adjective. Synonym, tranquil. Definition, calm, peaceful, and untroubled, tranquil. Sentence, while these feats demand unwavering resolve to navigate through lethargic periods, it's imperative to maintain a serene demeanor and extend cohesion to those who haven't ascended a comparable peak. 3. Lethargic. Part of speech, adjective. Synonym, sluggish. Definition, lacking in energy, slow and apathetic. Sentence. While these feats demand unwavering resolve to navigate through lethargic periods, it's imperative to maintain a serene demeanor and extend cohesion to those who haven't ascended a comparable peak. 4. Summit. Part of speech, noun. Synonym, peak. Definition, the highest point of a hill or mountain. Sentence. It's a familiar sight, being ensnared by the grandiose display of egotism and chauvinism, as individuals diminish others while flaunting their attainment of the summit. 5. Belittle. 
Part of speech, verb. Synonym, disparage. Definition, make someone or something seem less impressive or important. Sentence, it's not uncommon to be fascinated by egotistical behavior and chauvinism, especially when someone belittles others while boasting about your achievements, such as acquiring material possessions or meeting societal standards of success like having a beautiful spouse, luxurious car or mansion, lucrative career, university degree, and so on. 6. Discriminate. Part of speech, verb. Synonym, differentiate. Definition, recognize a distinction, differentiate. Sentence, true impartiality entails refraining from sentimental discourse and refusing to discriminate against those perceived as less accomplished. 7. Cohesive. Part of speech, adjective. Synonym, unified. Definition, characterized by or causing cohesion. Sentence, while these feats demand unwavering resolve to navigate through lethargic periods, it's imperative to maintain a serene demeanor and extend cohesion to those who haven't ascended a comparable peak. 8. Impartial. Part of speech, adjective. Synonym, unbiased. Definition, treating all rivals or disputants equally, fair and just. Sentence, true impartiality entails refraining from sentimental discourse and refusing to discriminate against those perceived as less accomplished. 9. Egotist. Part of speech, noun. Synonym, egoist. Definition, a person who is excessively conceited or self-absorbed, a self-centered person. Sentence, it's a familiar sight, being ensnared by the grandiose display of egotism and chauvinism, as individuals diminish others while flaunting their attainment of the summit. 10. Analogous. Part of speech, adjective. Synonym, similar. Definition, comparable in certain respects, typically in a way that makes clearer the nature of the things compared. Sentence, although many, if not most, of these achievements require the necessary resolve to traverse lethargic situations, you should remain serene and cohesive to those who, for a reason or another, have not had an analogous pinnacle of achievement. 11. Resolve. Part of speech, noun. Synonym, determination. Definition, firm determination to do something. Sentence, while these feats demand unwavering resolve to navigate through lethargic periods, it's imperative to maintain a serene demeanor and extend cohesion to those who haven't ascended a comparable peak. 12. Mesmerize. Part of speech, verb. Synonym, captivate. Definition, hold the attention of, someone, to the exclusion of all else or so as to transfix them. Sentence, it's not uncommon to find oneself mesmerized by the egotistical display of chauvinism, as individuals belittle others while being egotistic about their attainment of the summit. 13. Embryonic. Part of speech, adjective. Synonym, rudimentary. Definition, in an early stage of development. Sentence, acknowledging the embryonic nature of success and understanding that achievements are seldom impermeable or autonomous endeavors, underscores the need for a complementary approach to celebrating individual triumphs. 14. Censor. Part of speech, verb. Synonym, suppress. Definition, examine, a book, movie, etc., officially and suppress unacceptable parts of it. 
Sentence. Striving for impartiality involves censoring sentimental statements instead of being uncompromising towards those who you believe to be mentally embryonic, and insisting that your achievement is impermeable and autonomously done, without complementary participation. 15. Uncompromising. Part of speech. Adjective. Synonym. Inflexible. Definition not making or accepting concessions, unyielding. Sentence, striving for impartiality involves censoring sentimental statements instead of being uncompromising towards those who you believe to be mentally embryonic, and insisting that your achievement is impermeable and autonomously done, without complementary participation. 16. Pinnacle. Part of speech, noun. Synonym, apex. Definition, the most successful point, the culmination. Sentence, although many, if not most, of these achievements require the necessary resolve to traverse lethargic situations, you should remain serene and cohesive to those who, for a reason or another, have not had an analogous pinnacle of achievement. 17. Sentimental. Part of speech, adjective. Synonym, emotional. Definition, relating to or prompted by feelings of tenderness, sadness, or nostalgia. Sentence, true impartiality entails refraining from sentimental discourse and refusing to discriminate against those perceived as less accomplished. 18. Autonomous. Part of speech, Adjective. Synonym, independent. Definition, having the freedom to govern itself or control its own affairs. Sentence, acknowledging the embryonic nature of success, and understanding that achievements are seldom impermeable or autonomous endeavors, underscores the need for a complementary approach to celebrating individual triumphs. 19. Complementary. Part of speech, adjective. Synonym, supplementary. Definition, combining in such a way as to enhance or emphasize the qualities of each other or another. Sentence, acknowledging the embryonic nature of success and understanding that achievements are seldom impermeable or autonomous endeavors, underscores the need for a complementary approach to celebrating individual triumphs. 20. Impermeable. Part of speech, adjective. Synonym, impenetrable. Definition, not allowing fluid to pass through. Sentence, acknowledging the embryonic nature of success, and understanding that achievements are seldom impermeable or autonomous endeavors, underscores the need for a complementary approach to celebrating individual triumphs. Vocabulary words list number three. 1. Empathetic. Part of speech, adjective. Synonym, compassionate. Definition, Showing an ability to understand and share the feelings of others. Sentence. This approach not only fosters empathy and compassion but also prevents ignorance from leading to callous or flippant behavior towards others. 2. Melancholy. Part of speech. Noun. Synonym. Sadness. Definition. A feeling of deep sadness or sorrow. Sentence, empathy goes beyond simply mirroring the emotions of others, such as feeling their melancholy. 3. Anachronism. Part of speech, noun. Synonym, relic. Definition, something or someone that is not in its correct historical or chronological time, especially a thing or person that belongs to an earlier time. Sentence, this perception of elders as anachronisms fails to recognize the depth of their experiences, including any psychological disorders they may have quietly battled throughout their lives. 
4. Qualify. Part of speech, verb. Synonym, meet requirements. Definition, to meet the necessary conditions or requirements for something. Sentence, modesty helps individuals qualify their utterances even to the vagrant. 5. Negligible. Part of speech, adjective. Synonym, insignificant. Definition, so small or unimportant as to be not worth considering. Sentence, by qualifying their words and actions with humility, individuals avoid falling into the trap of dismissing others' experiences as negligible or unworthy of consideration. 6. Banish. Part of speech, verb. Synonym, exile. Definition, to send someone away, typically as a punishment or to force them to leave a place. Sentence, approaching someone's concerns with empathy means not dismissing them as insignificant by instructing them to banish their emotions, as if they were easily disposable. 7. Apex. Part of speech, noun. Synonym, pinnacle. Definition, the highest point or pinnacle of something. Sentence, you may get to the apex of what is considered to be a success according to indoctrination standards and be jovial and amiable to others, but unless knowledge of self becomes crystallized within your being, none of these ways of behaving will help you have a lucid understanding of your emotional fluctuations. 8. Mundane Part of speech, adjective. Synonym, ordinary. Definition, lacking interest or excitement, dull and ordinary. Sentence, the cacophony of mundane activities keeps individuals malleable within the doctrine to which they are confined. 9. Jovial. Part of speech, adjective. Synonym, cheerful. Definition, cheerful and friendly. Sentence, you may get to the apex of what is considered to be a success according to indoctrination standards and be jovial and amiable to others, but unless knowledge of self becomes crystallized within your being, none of these ways of behaving will help you have a lucid understanding of your emotional fluctuations. 10. Malleable. Part of speech. Adjective. Synonym, moldable. Definition, capable of being easily shaped or molded. Sentence, this malleability leads to a form of mental enslavement, where individuals become unquestioningly loyal to the doctrines imposed upon them. 11. Amiable. Part of speech, adjective. Synonym, friendly. Definition, having or displaying a friendly and pleasant manner. Sentence, despite reaching the supposed pinnacle of success as dictated by societal indoctrination, one may appear outwardly jovial and amiable to others. 12. Disheartened. Part of speech, adjective. Synonym, discouraged. Definition, having lost determination or confidence. Sentence, many questions pop up in our minds such as asking, why is it that some individuals are the paragon in their careers, erudition, companionship, and so on, while others are disheartened at the incipient of any endeavor. 13. Paragon. Part of speech, noun. Synonym, model. Definition, a person or thing regarded as a perfect example of a particular quality. Sentence, at times, a multitude of questions flood our minds, pondering why certain individuals seem to effortlessly embody the paragon of success in their careers, knowledge, relationships, and more, while others are easily disheartened at the mere beginning of any endeavor. 14. Crystallize. Part of speech, verb. 
Synonym, form. Definition, to become definite or clear. Sentence, however, without a deep understanding of oneself, without one's knowledge of self crystallized within the mind, these outward displays of success and amiability offer little solace in maintaining inner peace or comprehending the complexities of emotional fluctuations. 15. Derive. Part of speech, verb. Synonym, obtain. Definition, to obtain something from, a specified source. Sentence, from where do such predispositions derive? 16. Misattribute. Part of speech, verb. Synonym, misassign. Definition, to incorrectly identify the source or origin of something. Sentence, indoctrination causes us to misattribute our emotional experience since we have been conditioned to have limited access to these emotional distortions. 17. Eradicate. Part of speech, verb. Part of speech, verb. Synonym, eliminate. Definition, to completely destroy or eliminate something. Sentence, from where do such predispositions derive? Are most of us tarnished? How can we eradicate our emotional deficiencies? 18. Tarnish. Part of speech, verb. Synonym, stain. Definition, to damage or discolor the surface of something, slightly. Sentence, are most of us somehow tarnished by societal norms and expectations? 19. Retract. Part of speech, verb. Synonym, withdraw. Definition, to draw or be drawn back or back in. Sentence, to gain a deeper understanding of this intricate tapestry of perceptions, it is essential to retract information from previous lessons. By revisiting antecedent teachings, individuals can better grasp the material presented in future lessons, allowing them to discern the underlying truths obscured by the veils of illusion. 20. Lucid. Part of speech, adjective. Synonym, clear. Definition, expressed clearly, easy to understand. Sentence, you may get to the apex of what is considered to be a success according to indoctrination standards and be jovial and amiable to others, but unless knowledge of self becomes crystallized within your being, none of these ways of behaving will help you have a lucid understanding of your emotional fluctuations. 21. Embellish. Part of speech, verb. Synonym, decorate. Definition, to make something more attractive by adding decorative details. Sentence, however, our minds have a tendency to embellish these memories over time, subtly altering them to diminish their initial impact. 22. Variance. Part of speech, noun. Synonym, difference. Definition, the fact or quality of being different, divergent, or inconsistent. Sentence, despite the inherent variance among individuals, we are all subject to the pervasive influence of the archaic doctrine of cognitive subjugation. 23. Extrapolate. Part of speech, Verb. Synonym, predict. Definition, to estimate or conclude something by projecting or extending known information. Sentence, this practice empowers individuals to appropriately delegate the task of lucidly extrapolating from negative experiences. 24. Delegate. Part of speech, verb. Synonym, assign. Definition, to entrust, a task or responsibility, to another person. 
Sentence. This practice empowers individuals to appropriately delegate the task of lucidly extrapolating from negative experiences. 25. Stipend. Part of speech. Noun. Synonym. Allowance. Definition. A fixed regular sum paid as a salary or allowance. Sentence. This illusionary perception leads to the emergence of a stipend of interpretations of reality, each shaped by a continuous flow of events observed from various perspectives. 26. Archaic. Part of speech, adjective. Synonym, ancient. Definition, very old or old-fashioned. Sentence. Despite the inherent variance among individuals, we are all subject to the pervasive influence of the archaic doctrine of cognitive subjugation. 27. Unprecedented. Part of speech, adjective. Synonym, unparalleled. Definition, never done or known before, without previous example. Sentence. For those with the audacity to engage in introspection, the skill of dissecting the correlation between external experiences and our automatic emotional responses represents an unprecedented achievement. 28. Audacity. Part of speech. Noun. Synonym. Boldness. Definition. Willingness to take bold risks. Daring. Sentence. For those with the audacity to engage in introspection, the skill of dissecting the correlation between external experiences and our automatic emotional responses represents an unprecedented achievement. 29. Diligent. Part of speech, adjective. Synonym, hardworking. Definition, characterized by steady, earnest, and energetic effort. Sentence. When we diligently revisit past negative emotional experiences, we often find that the emotions originally felt during those moments resurface with remarkable fidelity. 30. Robust. Part of speech, adjective. Synonym, strong. Definition, strong and healthy, vigorous. Sentence. This robust disposition not only enables individuals to navigate through the complexities of their inner worlds but also provides them with the clarity needed to discern the illusory reality that has been ingrained in their consciousness. 31. Callous. Part of speech, adjective. Synonym, insensitive. Definition. Showing or having an insensitive and cruel disregard for others. Sentence. This approach not only fosters empathy and compassion, but also prevents ignorance from leading to callous or flippant behavior towards others. 32. Pliable. Part of speech, adjective. Synonym, adaptable. Definition, easily bent, flexible. Sentence. The constant repetition of mundane tasks and activities serves to mold individuals, making them pliable within the confines of societal norms and expectations. 33. Beacon. Part of speech. Noun. Synonym. Guide. Definition. A source of light or inspiration. Sentence. The higher self serves as a beacon of clarity amidst the chaos of everyday life, guiding us towards a deeper understanding of our true nature. 34. Quandaries. Part of speech, noun. Synonym, dilemmas. Definition, difficult situations, perplexing problems. Sentence. Reviewing previous lectures serves as a beacon of insight, helping to clarify these existential quandaries and providing a foundation for further exploration. 35. Antecedent. Part of speech. Noun. 
Synonym, precursor. Definition, something that comes before another thing. Sentence, by revisiting antecedent teachings, individuals can better grasp the material presented in future lessons, allowing them to discern the underlying truths obscured by the veils of illusion. 36. Tapestry. Part of speech, noun. Synonym, mosaic. Definition, a complex combination of things or sequence of events. Sentence, to gain a deeper understanding of this intricate tapestry of perceptions, it is essential to retract information from previous lessons.